everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and I have another awesome Oceans of Possibilities uh, craft for you today. These are 3D starfish that you can make uh, with your kids, plus you could just make it if you want to decorate. Uh, it's a great decoration. Uh, so this one is done with uh, puff paint on it, sparkly puff paint to make the decorations and the um, the uh, embellishments of it. And then this one is just drawn on, um, and it's. A little hard to see the yellow but it's there and it kind of looks like a real starfish and this one uh, has the feel more of a starfish with all of the uh, puff paints the sparkly puff paints but you can do it any way that you want so what I have done is I have a, uh, a five-point star uh, fish shape that I have um, cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this really easy uh, to decorate. You want to decorate first. And what I'm going to do is... So, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do this and this and this here and here like this I could do like that maybe do some dashes and then I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do some decorating and you know, it's kind of bumps, so I'm just using a crayon on this one to make the decorations and the, um, the designs and the details on the starfish. And then I'm going to show you how to fold the starfish so that you can make these yourself and this is a great way to do something fun for um, oceans of possibilities or just um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a bunch of little dots I'm using a couple of crayons like this I'm just gonna do a bunch of dots kind of all over so that it kind of looks speckled and you could do this with markers I just happen to have crayons but I kind of like it and I like it with the two colors it just adds some details um, and whatever so there we go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fold this and it is way easier than you would think so that you get that five star um, look and that 3d look of the starfish no matter which one you do uh, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to fold this in half and it is not going to be exact but I'm going to crease it really really well so we folded that um, and it's not totally even and that does not matter Then you're going to open it up and fold the next arm of it in half and remember it does not have to be totally perfect then you're gonna fold the next arm just turn it and fold the next arm and it's not totally perfect it's not totally even it's not supposed to be it's supposed to just create that three dimension so I'm gonna fold that one in half one more to fold in half 
So I'm going to fold this one in half like that. Okay, so now that is a fold for each one of them. And what I'm going to do is go like this, just crease it. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to open this one up and do this last one. Crease it like that so that it ends up like that. Okay. And then you just kind of put it like this and put it down a little bit. And there you are. There is your 3D starfish. A perfect craft for oceans of possibilities or an o summer reading program or an ocean unit or a sea creature unit or maybe you're just learning about starfish or you want some cool decoration for uh, a sea themed birthday party or a table setting or whatever and if you want to really step it up a notch then you can uh, add uh, puff paints which is what this one is because it additionally gives it uh, your star sea star uh, some texture and it is really super cool. You could also do this if you want to make it um, have some other texture. You could use sandpaper sheets to make your, um, your sea star part uh, because then it feels uh, like a sea star on the top too. So some great ideas uh, and I hope you try these out at home. Happy creating. Miss Amy.